What's going on guys? I hope you like Google Pixel news because there's gonna be a lot of it in this video and a subsequent video because not only has Android 15 QPR1 stable begun rolling out, we also have the December feature drop. And I have taken the liberty of condensing this fairly long blog post into something that is easier for me to go through. So we're gonna quickly go through what is new in the December 2024 feature drop? Before I go any further, just keep in mind, it is possible that you will see some of these features hitting your phone imminently. You may already be seeing them. Some of them may take a while to arrive on your device because these are not all arriving via a system update. Some of them are app updates. Some of them are server side updates. So with that out of the way, to talk about what's coming to your Pixel phone. So the first one is already live on the Gemini website, and so it should be rolling out to everybody pretty quickly. Gemini Advanced now has the ability to remember your preferences, remember information about you. The example that they give is maybe you're a vegetarian, you can click on add and tell them, I am a vegetarian. And then if you ask it to give you a recipe for dinner, it's not going to suggest a short rib, it's going to remember that you are in fact a vegetarian. Google says that they are adding a whole bunch of new capabilities to Gemini to allow you to more seamlessly call your contacts, call businesses, create drafts and send text messages, change system settings, and do things like open my camera and take a selfie. Taking a selfie. So that's pretty cool. Gemini Nano can now give you better smart reply suggestions while you are in a call screening scenario. So it's listening to what the other person is saying and rather than sort of canned responses. It's going to be able to give you much more intelligent, much more contextually uh, aware responses for call screening. They say that you can also now open this up and see the live transcript as that screening is happening. This is actually kind of strange because I swear that I had this at one point and now lately I've not been able to do it. So maybe they were testing it or something and I was in on a test and didn't realize it, but it was really cool and I'm glad I'm going to have that back. We also have some improvements to Instagram and Snapchat. So I think what they're meaning is in Instagram, you can actually go into the camera app in Instagram and take a picture and it will actually take advantage of Ultra HDR, which I'm not a big fan of Ultra HDR. Sometimes you're scrolling through threads and then an image comes across your screen that is as bright as the searing bright sun. And I don't know why anyone <laughs> would want that. But I guess it's built into Instagram now. You also have in Snapchat the ability to access the new system photo picker, which I think is quite good. And you also are going to have the dual screen mode for Snapchat as well on your Pixel tablet. So you can see on the big screen the photo you're taking. They can see on the cover display the photo you are taking of them. So that's a pretty cool improvement. We also have the Made You Look feature now arriving on the original Pixel Fold. If you don't know what this is, you're trying to take a picture of a child and to distract them, there is a cutesy animation bouncing around on the cover display as you are taking a photo with the primary camera. Only problem there is they're looking away from the camera slightly, but still it's better than nothing and it should be on the original Pixel Fold now. Stickers that you have made inside Pixel Studio should now actually appear inside Gboard. I think that is pretty cool because I am constantly making dumb things in Pixel Studio and then saving them and then sending them off in a text message. So having them right there will definitely be an improvement. We are also getting some new emoji kitchen combinations, which if you don't know, basically you're using a couple of emojis and it tries to combine them and give you a combined emoji, so there are some new combinations rolling out as well. We have integration with Circle to Search and Pixel Screenshots. As you can see here, we are using Circle to Search on this thing, and you can see up here, Save to uh, Pixel Screenshots is an option. This is a pretty cool one. So with live captions, you now have emotive captions. You can see that they gasped because something exciting happened. The phone understood that the announcer was surprised and it tried to give you that information in the caption. That is pretty cool. A couple more small things. The Pixel Recorder app can now reduce background noise. They're also launching something called Simple View, which can increase the font size and increase the touch sensitivity to make the phone easier to use. I'm assuming this is some sort of an accessibility feature that some people might find useful. And here's a cool one. Now playing that cool little thing where your Pixel phone can tell you what song is playing in the background, it will now be able to display album artwork. I like that one a lot. Any enhancements to now 
of playing they can give me, I'm going to be into. On the Pixel tablet, swiping to the right will now reveal this screen of home controls. I think this is really, really smart. Getting to those home controls more quickly makes a ton of sense for the Pixel tablet. You also have in beta something called identity check, which you can turn on. And anytime you try to change sort of a sensitive setting on your phone, it's going to require authentication either with your face or your fingerprint or your pin. So that should sort of keep you safe if someone ends up with your phone that shouldn't have it. And the Pixel tablet also is now finally picking up the Google VPN. I don't know why it didn't have it already, but apparently it's getting it very soon. So guys, that is a lot of stuff. And keep in mind, like I mentioned, Android 15 QPR1 is rolling out as well with its own deluge of new features. And just as soon as it has arrived on my phone, or just as soon as I am able to sideload it, I'm going to have a video out on that as quickly as humanly possible. I'm literally refreshing right now the page and it still says November, so no side loading just yet. So definitely hit that subscribe button before you go because you don't want to miss out on that coverage as well, guys. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.